Yo, what is up, guys? This is Rizzy Pal, and we are here with uh, our first week of the GPC. So, um, I don't know whether I'm going to be uh, recording this uh, battle live or post, uh, uh, but uh, I decided since you know it's already going to be on Showdown, I'm going to spend about five minutes in the beginning of every uh, every GPC video, uh, just talking about my team and stuff, just so you guys know uh, what I'm bringing and all. But uh, if you guys want to skip to the actual battle, then I will leave um, the time that you have to skip to in the description or I'll leave an annotation or something. I don't know what I'm going to do. But um, yeah, let's go look at our team that we are bringing this week. Um, I got a, you see the Snorlax right here, but um, let me just read off my team and the, my opponent's team real quick. Uh, we're going to go be going up against the New Jersey Jump Luffs. So, uh, Mind Warrior is the coach of that team, and uh, you should definitely check him out. His links will be in the description. And uh, yeah, so our team obviously is Megazard X, um, Jirachi. We got Togekiss, we got Nidoking, Eselgor, Rotom, Mo, Alamomola, Alamomola. Um, we also got Snorlax, Scrafty, Rhydon, Torkoal, and our Avalug. So, if you guys did not see, I did upload a draft analysis video. So, you can go and uh, look in the description. That video will be there. And we're going to be going up against the New Jersey uh, Jump Bluffs, coached by Mind Warriors. So, his team is Alander's Eye, Crobat, Cresselia, Infernate, Milotic, Granbull, Kyurem, Shiftry, and Mega Manectric. So... Just look at his team, I knew that Snorlax had to come. Um, he does not even have a normal resist, and I'm carrying return this week instead of the uh, instead of the body slam, just because he does have a melodic and I don't really want to paralyze that thing. Partly because of Marvel Skill, although I kinda although Marvel Skill I still would rather be paralyzed just because you know para hacks is always a thing. Uh, also uh, just because also the main reason is because I wanna toxic that uh, that melodic. Uh, because I want to wear it down that way and also I want to toxic the uh, Cresselia as well I would rather not them get paralyzed so that's why he has a Cresselia which is going to be really annoying but um, I think we can deal with it with this team I got the Choppo Berry because his only ways of dealing with this thing are stuff like uh, Infernape but close combat and then after that I can fire off a return and if uh if he's weakened a little bit at minus one he will die to a return so that's really nice plus if I get some curses up um, you'll probably die <laughs> if I get a plus one and if he's at minus one I'm pretty sure a return will kill another mon I knew right away that had to come was also uh, my LMAO Ebola my uh, my Alamamamamola but um also Chobbleberry is also there in case he has like a Lando Eye with either like Focus Blast or Superpower I think he's gonna bring Focus Blast for me but uh, you never know it could be either one uh, my next mod is Alamamola, and we're bringing a really weird set. So this set is, uh, the main thing it is there is to wall his Landorus Eye. Uh, it also deals really well with pretty much everything on his team. He pretty much can beat everything 1v1, except maybe Crobat if he's running like a weird, like a, not a weird one, like a bulky Crobat. That could be an issue. Also, uh, Cress and Milotic, it can't really do anything to them, so that is another issue. Uh, I can burn them with my Scald and knock off them, but so that's kind of cool. Also, they might carry like sub, like I could see a sub combine crest coming. Uh, so maybe that. Uh, so like obviously this is not very good versus the that um, because I'm AV. I'm AV because it helps me deal with Lando I. This ver this variant of Alamomola, Alamomola can deal with any variant of Lando I. Uh, Earth Power only does like 33 to 45 percent and I do get regenerator boost. I can knock off his uh, life orb or any other item that he wishes to carry and I can two shot him with the ice beam. I also have Murder Code so uh, I could predict uh, him going for an Earth Power and I can take him out with a with a Mirror Coat. Uh, he does, I don't, I think he's going to be bringing Combine, Sludge Wave, um, Earth Power and what is it? What is this last move that I was thinking he was going to bring? Um, Focus Blast. Focus Blast versus me. That's the thing that I... That's the set I think he's going to be bringing. So, that's pretty cool. Also, uh, Mega Manectric literally does nothing to this thing. Um, he only does like 37% with a Volt Switch. And I can Mirror Coat. If he doesn't bring uh, Shiftery, that means he has no Dark type. So, if uh, this is probably going to be my lead versus him. If he does not bring Shiftery uh, and he leads off with Mega Manectric, uh, he just Volt Switches and I literally get a kill. Which would be amazing. Um... 
yeah, so that is my Alamomomola. Mola. I'm, I'm just going through these pretty, uh, pretty, pretty quickly. So obviously there's more to these sets, but I'm not explaining every single little thing. Uh, because, you know, I wanted this to go a little bit quick. So my next mon is uh, Sub Swords Dance Roost uh, Megazard X. And I was really, uh, I, I was debating between this and also Dragon Dance. I really, I mean, I could still run Dragon Dance versus him. I think it's pretty decent. But uh, he just have a, has a lot of checks to Dragon Dance. Plus, if I am going to run Dragon Dance, I feel like I'm going to have to give up on a lot of my bulk. Um, and I just, I, this sub, I don't think it's going to be very useful without my bulk. I can, with this sub, I can take hits from, uh, without it breaking from Chris Sully if he's not boosted up. Uh, also, I don't, I can't take it on my Lodic, but um, at plus two, Flare of Bliss two, uh, two, it KOs it. So uh, I can sub or Swords Dance on the Switch. And I can proceed to uh, fire off two flare blitzes and kill that Milotic. Uh, that's really good, obviously, for Alamomola. Um, another set that I was really thinking. Uh, also, another reason why I didn't want to run Dragon Dance. I feel like he has a lot of checks to it as well. And I really wanted the immediate boost I get with Swords Dance uh, before this matchup. I just, I don't, I, it, Dragon Dance is going to be really difficult to pull off, I feel. So I'm just going to go with Swords Dance this set. And obviously, it doesn't have as much sweeping potential as, um, as uh, the uh, the swords dance does but uh, no as dragon dance does but uh, he's gonna pretty much have to sack something off because his only resists are my Lodic, which gets two shot at plus two by flare blitz with this investment and um infernate which does not want to take a flare blitz so um that is that is uh, this set right over here. Um, I was also thinking about running like a sub toxic variant, but um, decided against that, uh, especially because you'll see some more mods on my team. Uh, my next mod is going to be the Choice Scarf Rotomo. Rotomo does very well versus team. It's another nice check to Lander's Eye uh, in case uh, Alamomola gets weakened or something. Um, it just as nice. Uh, I can Volt Switch all over his team except for Lando's Eye, but I don't think he's going to switch Lando Eye on this unless... Because uh, if I predict it, it's it's, it's gone. Lando Eye is going to take a huge hit, especially if I get rocks up. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to... This is going to be nice. Also, I can trick stuff like Cresselli and my Lodic, which is very nice. I feel like this thing has a very good sweeping potential versus his team. It does not have many things I want to take hits, like nothing. Uh, so yeah, my next mod is going to be the, uh, the Jirachi, and you can see a sub, a, a I sub on two mods, that's just because this does land a Y and like Kyrum and even Mega Manectric, although, uh, this thing can even take subs, uh, take hits for Mega Manectric without its sub breaking, um, I feel this scene is kind of passive, he has a lot of really, uh, passive mods, such as, even for names it can be a wall breaker as well, but, uh, you know, he has, um, you know, Cresselia, Milotic, and Granbull, and I feel like he has to bring, uh, I feel like he's going to definitely bring both Cress and Milotic versus me. I could see Granbull coming potentially, but, uh, I can take subs from those two, from both of these things. Uh, actually, I can't take it from Milotic with, uh, Zarb, but I can two-shot after Flare Blitz. So that's the, the point. I'm bringing this thing because I can, with this investment, I can take even a Shadow Ball without breaking my sub from Cress if he's not boosted. Um, i he's, if he's not boosted, yeah, um... Also, um, I think, uh, what else, what else, uh, I can sub toxic his teams, such as stuff like, um, he doesn't have a heal baller on his team as well, I don't think he does, pretty sure he doesn't, so that's really nice, I can toxic, uh, Cress, also my Lodic, uh, he could have rest on either one of those, but I really think he's gonna be carrying the more, uh, the more normal, like, recover or moonlight, uh, he might carry rest, but, uh, that's, that's cool, um, this is also my rocker just because he does not have any steel types on his team. So I don't really feel like I should be running fire punch. Obviously it's not needed. And I, this can be my rocker, which is very, very nice. And uh, yeah, I can take a ton of hits with this investment. I outspeed a lot of his team as well. I outspeed Jolly Shiftery uh, with this investment. So that is going to be really nice. I really like the set. And this thing I feel can put in a ton of work. My last mod is going to be this mod. Now, I was really debating on this mod. Um, I really wanted my last uh, slot to be either uh, Togekiss, Torkoal, or Avalug. Also, we did get Avalug on our team. I switched Ninjas for Avalug in the grace period. So I forgot to mention that. But uh, I wanted one of these three mods just because I wanted support for Zard. I want Hazard removal. And it doesn't really serve much purpose in this match. I'm not going to lie. Um... It doesn't serve much purpose in this match. Uh, I have Defog. That's the main reason why it's there. I also have Heal Ball just in case uh, he has like Thunder Wave Crest. I don't want... 
Uh, this just gives me more leeway with stuff like Jirachi and even this that I can just switch into Crest and not really worry too much about getting Thunder Wave because uh, I do have Yo Bell in the back. Obviously, I'm not going to straight up switch on a Jirachi if I don't want to get paralyzed. Um, or if I expect the Thunder Wave, I'm not going to do that. But uh, it's just a nice leeway that I might have versus team. I have Air Slash for Stab. It does uh, pretty well versus team. I mean, he does have resistances, but this thing is just meant kind of walls some stuff. I am running a sp uh, defense just because um, there's not much thing that I'm going to be taking from this Bidef anyway. I don't feel. Um, I already take whatever I need to from the defensive uh, Spadef standpoint uh, with the uh, with no investment, but I uh, also have Roost obviously for recovery and yeah The cubby of Aries only there just to give me another uh, in quote-unquote check to uh, a calm mind lenders eye just because I can live a sludge wave and Then I can produce I can proceed to get some damage off with air slash now I get like 45% if he does not boost it and if he is boosted, I get about 40, probably a little bit less than 40. Um, but just uh, uh, in quote unquote check, I have uh, this as a check. These two as checks, I guess. Um, also, uh, I have this as a check as well because I do have the Chopple Berry. Uh, even if he's at plus one, he won't be able to Oko me because of the Chopple Berry with Focus Blast or even Superpower. Superpower, I'm not worried about because that means I can curse up on him because he's going to be getting the minus one, uh, minus one attack and defense. which is going to be really nice for me. Um, and also this is kind of a counter, a sort of counter. It can beat it 1v1. Um, yeah, and I do have the regenerator on this so I can switch out and try to get 33% uh, whenever I do that. That is going to be really nice. So I'm really excited about my match with uh, Christian over here. Um, and I guess we're just going to get into the battle. So yeah, see you guys. All right, we are here with the battle against Mind Warriors. So I got my team over here, and uh, he did not. He does not have shiftery, so that means I can just uh, lead off with with uh, with uh, um, a Ebola right here. That is really really nice. So um, I'm actually kind of kind of nervous. Like I wasn't nervous for this battle earlier, and now it's kind of kind of kicked in right now because uh, you know it's the first week of the GPC. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he did bring Crest, he did bring Lando, pretty much everything I accepted. I wasn't sure if he would bring, um, my, uh, not my load, Infernape. Infernape wasn't sure, he, m I, I, I kind of think he would. He might have, like, a ta taunt set. Uh, look at his team, he only has two rockers. It could be either, uh, Infernape or even, uh, could even be Lando. So, uh, yeah. That is really cool, um, let me just check the, uh. The chat on Skype real quick. All right. Um, he does lead off with this. This is so perfect. This is so perfect. I'm just going to click Mirror Coat, guys. And I actually get a kill. Unless he goes for something like Sub. If he goes for Sub, that's actually going to be sort of an issue. I do have Snorlax that just eats anything up from this thing. So um, I don't think Sub is very good versus my team anyway. Uh, Snorlax is a huge threat versus his team as well. Um kind of nervous you know uh, I want to see what happens uh, I think he's just gonna go for the volt switch vote switch mm hmm I don't know whether I should start the timer honestly I don't know why I don't know if you guys can even see my mouse cursor um, he goes for Thunder Wave all right I thought he might have brought Thunder Wave I guess he was expecting a switch that is really annoying. Um, yeah, that is really annoying. I'm actually going to go for the knockoff right here. I don't expect him to go for uh, a Volt Switch. This is going to... This is kind of annoying. Um, I kind of expect him to double out into um, something that can kill this. What, what can kill this on his team? <laughs> he has nothing that can kill this. Um... I kind of want to go for knockoff. If he goes for Thunderbolt, let me just check really quick. Uh, can Manectric take out a normal Alamomola set? This does not go what I expected. Kind of expected him to just uh, try to kill me. Yeah, I can't. He can't take it out. So, um, I'm just going to go for knockoff. If he goes for T-Bolt, that's going to be so annoying. He's going to do about 50% to me. Um, let me just check, uh, let me put a soul vest. Yeah. Click knockoff. 
He has nothing that can take this thing on. I feel like the safer play is to just go out into, uh, into, uh, Snorlax. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> I really don't want him to go for T-Bolt. <laughs> I mean, it's... Yeah, he did switch out. He did switch out into this. I don't even have a proper switch into this. That's terrible. Oh man, that's so annoying. Um What can the why do you switch into this? I'm really confused. Um you can't touch me. Close close combat is quite a bit, but uh, I do have regenerators, so I kinda wanna just fire off a skull. It's gonna do about half to him. He's gonna go for rocks, that is fine. We do get the skull off. He has a he has quite a bit of bulk, obviously. Um that really sucks. The the para I would really want to get rid of this item. Although he might be uh, he might be sash, so I can't be too upset. Um, I think my best play is to just fire off another scald. Uh, he has nothing that wants to deal with this thing. He's gonna go into this thing. Okay, I got paralyzed, which is fine actually because I would rather not burn this thing. Um, I kind of just want to go out into uh, either. Uh, Togekiss, and I kind of want to get a heal ball off, uh, or even, uh, Rachi. He has Thunder Wave. Alright, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just thinking about that. Um, uh, I could see him going for T-Wave right over here. Uh, do I really care? Uh, he has nothing that can, uh, not get toxic. I'm gonna go on to Rachi. Uh, I could totally see him going for T-Wave right here, although he had T-Wave on Manectric. So, uh, we're gonna see, uh, he has side shock. Okay, that's fine. That's actually, it's pretty nice, um, because now I can just fire off a toxic. Actually, no, my better play is substitute. I'm gonna go for the sub. I, I don't think he can break my sub with anything. He's gonna go for moonlight. Alright, I'm now gonna go for toxic. That is actually really nice. Uh, we're gonna get a toxic off on my Lodix, so sub toxic is, uh, doing some nice stuff right here. We're gonna get our rocks up. As uh, he does not break my uh, my substitute right there. Um, I'm just going to go for Iron Head to try to flinch him. Because there's no reason not to. This uh, this Rachi is actually going to do quite a bit of work to his team. And I can uh, I beat this Milotic 1v1 because I do have uh, the substitute. So uh, that's really nice. We do get a flinch right there. You know, skill. That's why, that's why it's called skill. Um... <laughs> Yeah, he's not gonna be able to 1v1 me, so he's gonna have to he's gonna switch out. He's gonna actually go into this thing, and that is uh really, really nice. That does uh 21%. Alright. Um Unfortunately another one will not kill. Unless he is a life orb. I don't think we uh we know whether he's life orb or not yet. I can either go for toxic or I can go for the iron head. Um I think that um the iron head is No, oh, no. Um, I guess Iron Head, we could get a crit. And he does, uh, he gets a crit U-turn. Alright, so I could have gone for Double Toxic. Really wishing I kind of did now. Um, I don't know what he'd switch out into. I guess Lando? He goes on, uh, goes on, uh, Grand Bolt. Which, uh, I'm pretty sure we can beat. Um, yeah, another Iron Head should be taken out unless he's Scarf. And Scarf EQ is not doing that much. So this Jirachi is definitely putting in work versus his team. I'm pretty happy about this. It's kind of, it's going exactly how I uh, expected it to. So that's really nice. Um, he does not really have any switch and something kind of dies right here. I mean, he can go on a Manectric, but Manectric is going to get toxic if that happens. So Gramble goes down. That is actually, that's really, really nice. Because uh, that means that he does not have any Intimidate on his team. It's just... Uh, weird set could have thrown me off guard as well. He's gonna go on to this thing. This thing, uh, definitely takes me out. I almost clicked toxic right there, and if, uh, that could have been, uh, pretty, uh, pretty bad. Um, now the only thing that's really, really annoying about this is the fact that, um, that's really annoying. Uh, let me just check really quick. Does Lando, I don't know the, the calcs off the top of my head. I'm just, I don't, um, so I kind of want to just do this. Uh, this actually has uh, sheer force. Let me just uh, count this real quick. Um, I want to know how much does it do to a Togekiss, which is uh, Spadef. Because he might expect the, uh, this uh, the switch in right here and go for a Calm Mind. Um, 
Stone Age is a fuck down, uh, but we're, we're talking about Sludge Wave. Um, yeah, it, is, it isn't to a kill. Uh, he might expect the, the switching of this, honestly. Um, I kind of want to just go into Alamomola. He goes for Rock Polish. That's fine. It's actually completely fine versus me. Um, I really don't want to get paired right here. Uh, Alamomola, let me just check. I'm sorry I'm doing so much calcs. I know that this Ice Beam should be doing like 60%. I'm just, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous. Not nervous, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's up with me, man. Um, this Earth Power should be uh, doing about 30%, I'm pretty sure, because I am AV. So I will go for the Ice Beam right here. As long as I don't get paired, I am in a pretty good shape. Uh, I don't know what his uh, his set is. He's gonna go for Earth Power. We don't get uh we don't get a uh, we don't get that move on us. Uh, what is it? We don't get a uh, parrot. And right now you can take out this thing. So I'm kind of gonna I'm gonna double out into um, I'm gonna double out into my uh, Rotom. I think that's kind of risky. Honestly, I think my best switch in is. Uh, into this he might ex uh, predict that and go for the uh, sludge wave though um, yeah he, he's rock polished up so yeah he does actually predict that that is actually pretty annoying um, yeah so um, I was kind of expecting to predict that I almost want to go for another ice beam but I did not want to uh, I didn't want this thing to die um, essentially so um, Obviously, he's gonna go for another uh, another one right here. I really want this thing to defog up on his team later, and I don't want to sack it. We're gonna go onto this thing. If he predicts this and goes for a, uh, okay, didn't. That's really nice. We do have the Chobble Berry, so we will live. And I'm pretty sure that a uh, Snorlax, if it if this return does not take it out, I will. Uh, it's over. <laughs> it's not over, but it's it's gonna be pretty bad. Um, Yeah, it does. That's pretty nice. Okay, so uh, even Focus Blast won't kill because I do have the uh, berry. Unfortunately, Snorlax might be sacked off right here. Um, that's really unfortunate. I don't think he has a Focus Blast the way that he's uh, playing. If he switches out, that's really nice, actually, because I don't want to take all this damage and lose my Chopper Berry even on uh, on the Snorlax. By the way, shout out to the, the Rizzle the Man for the nickname Trump Voter. Shout out to him. I was really close to running on uh, like Shaka Berry Jirachi. But I ended up wanting to do that. If I did, that would be a really nice switch right here. He does go for the Focus Blast. I'm going to eat it up because of my Chapel Berry. And I'm going to take him out with the return. So, Sorlax is severely weakened right here. Which is really, really unfortunate. Even, um, even uh, this thing is really weakened. Uh, I'm pretty sure he can take me out right here. Which is really annoying. Um, my neck trick. Oh, he's special attacker. T bolt. Um, it's like min roll. Uh, I can't. Yeah, I can't. Um, how much does Crest do to this Snorlax? Because if it doesn't do much, I might be able to. Uh, uh, Ice Beam does nothing. Psychic does, but it does enough after rocks. He's going to go for the T-Bolt. Unfortunately, Snorlax goes down, which is really, really sad. We know it's fine. Um, this Mon is very annoying now because um, Snorlax is weakened. Hmm. He's at a, a low amount of health, so I think that... Um, I'm sorry I'm calcing everything, guys. I'm just... I'm just... Uh, I don't know. I'm a mess, man. Uh, Leaf Storm does nothing to this thing. Holy crap. Um, um, this thing is an issue. Snorlax went down and now I'm fucked. <laughs> Not fucked, but... I'm not in the best position. Uh, how much does it do? My neck trick. I'm sorry, I'm calking, guys. I'm just worried. Um, not Rotom. Uh, Jirachi. I really don't want to make take Jirachi, take all the damage. I don't even know if I can live one. Um, where's uh the? Oh, I didn't even press import. Fuck. 
Um, Jirachi, where is the custom set uh, skill? Overheat does not even take me out. Um, I can live one hit with this. So I'm just going to go out into uh, this. And I'm going to go for the mirror coat. Uh, if I get fully paralyzed right here, I'm actually going to... I'm going to die. As, uh, as I do live. And we do get the mirror coat off, so we do take out the Manectric. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank god. I knew it could have lived one. And that is fantastic, because now we can uh, switch out. That is fantastic. We're in a really good position. We are in amazing. We are in an amazing position because now I can switch out, and I kind of have to sack something right here. Um, honestly, Zard is pretty good versus stuff like Crest, but um, at this point, I think I just win with Jirachi. Um, so I'm gonna sack off Zard. Yeah, I'm gonna sack off Zard. Uh, we're gonna go to Zard. He's gonna go for the Flare Bliss. That's fine. Uh, we're just gonna go for the Roost. And, uh, he goes for another Flare Bliss. He is locked, it seems. So, I'm gonna get this Roost off. That is fantastic. Alright, um... I'm gonna actually sub up on this. I wanna see what, uh... I I'm carrying double sub. He goes for the Dragon Pulse. Holy crap. Um, how much does that do? That's, uh, that's pretty crazy. My low tick. Uh, you need offensive with, uh, Dragon Pulse. Ooh, he actually carried Dragon Pulse. That's kind of cool. Um, let's go into, uh, Charizard. Uh, let's see. Um, blank set. No, not, not the blank set. Charizard, uh, Bob's Tears. And, uh, yeah, that definitely, uh, that does quite a bit of damage. I don't know if he's, uh, EV to... I mean, probably with, uh, with no HP investment, you could, uh, yeah, I can roost up on this thing, and I can actually set up on it, I'm pretty sure, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the, uh, Swords Dance. That does a bit of damage, we're just gonna go for the Roost. That's kinda nice, we're gonna go for another Roost, we're stalling him out a little bit too. Um... I'm just gonna spam Roost, guys. <laughs> There's really no reason not to. Yeah, and I'm just gonna go for the Roost because he's gonna die right here. Alright, that is fantastic. And uh, now I'm pretty sure I can sub up on this thing. Goes for Psy Shock that does not kill. We're gonna go for uh, another Roost. Uh, I wanna get the highest differential. So, um, I'm just gonna. I'm playing this out as well as I can just because I can. Um,. I want to. We're going to go for another uh, Swords Dance. And uh, he actually broke my sub with that one. Uh, we're going to go for one more Roost. And then we're going to go for the uh, Flare Blitz. And that takes him out. GG, dude. That was a 5-0. Oh, All right. That was... Uh, that's pretty good. Um, that was a 5-0. Oh. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, this is the first week in the GPC, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, everything actually kind of went to plan. Unfortunately, uh, this thing got uh, parrot. It actually went for the mirror code. I got that off. Manectric was looking kind of scary because I let uh, so I get weakened. Honestly, uh, something I should have done was uh, when I went out in Snorlax, um, I should have not. Uh, I should have not let that happen. Um, should have not let it weaken. I should have probably, uh... I mean, I think, uh, the, the Togeus play into the Sludge Wave was the best play. Just because, um, I could not let Alamomola die. Um... I'm not sure what I could have done. I don't know. I don't think Strox was the best play. Maybe, um... Maybe Rotom was the best play. Uh, no. No, he went for Sludge Wave. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess I had a weakened Snorlax like that. But, um... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was week one of the GPC, and uh, we did get a win. So, uh, pretty happy about that, and uh, we will see you guys uh, next time. Peace.